The motor car has shrunk the world, increased personal freedom, and in so many ways expanded our horizons. But there's a flip side. Cars have destroyed our environment, poisoned the air we breathe, and killed us in far more straightforward ways. There's about a million deaths every year in, in this world to traffic accidents, and I find this just utterly unacceptable in the 21st century. But all that's going to change. Soon we will be in a position to have our automotive cake and eat it. Self-driving cars are going to have a huge impact on society. They'll be able to navigate through complex intersections with no collisions. If I could just sit back and read a book, listen to some music, catch up on some sleep, that would be great. Once your car can come from around the corner, we can start opening up some of these sort of residential areas and they'll feel much more sociable again. This is a world where cars will drive themselves. A world where we are simply passengers, ferried about by wholesome green compassionate technology which will never ever go wrong. And it's almost here. I can press this button. I don't even have control they can grab. Fully autonomous vehicle in commercial operation in 2021. But cars that can run errands for us by themselves could quickly clog up our streets and ruin livelihoods too. From taxi drivers to truck drivers, lots of people have a job as a driver. A lot of effort has been put into selling us the driverless dream. Now it's almost upon us could we actually be sleepwalking into a nightmare? What happens when it eventually encounters a no-win scenario, when it actually has to have an accident? We love cars. We love owning them. We love driving them. And learning to drive a car is a rite of passage. Handbrake off, handbrake, oh, handbrake. You've got to be able to drive or else you're really not a real adult. But learning to mirror, signal and manoeuvre is on its way out. Because shadowy backroom technologists at places like Google, Intel and even Facebook are hell-bent on getting rid of drivers altogether. We're building systems to enable cars to drive themselves. 